Weeks ago, federal officials relied partially on mapping technology from Northeastern University to project the spread of COVID-19. So we decided to talk to those researchers about what comes next. WBZ's Christina Hager has the details. It's the question on everyone's mind. How much longer are we going to be living like this? At least three or four weeks uh, and that's a, that is an optimistic estimate, but easily could be five or six weeks. Northeastern University researchers Samuel Scarpino and Alessandro Vespignani and what is the problem? have developed mapping that forecasts infectious diseases. Vespignani is part of a team that consults federal officials on policy and public health decisions based on these predictions. We asked them about this summer. Will we be able to go away for vacation to travel? If the other countries and the other states are able to, uh, to mitigate the epidemic, we can think to gradually go back to, uh, to a traveling patterns. He says non-essential businesses will reopen first. But summer concerts, sports? Thinking about large mass gathering and concert, uh, you know, this is something that uh, uh, we should think about uh, if it will be possible or not. Maybe not, he says. And then there's the question of fall. There is certainly a chance that in the fall there will be a resurgence of COVID-19 cases. We will need to have aggressive measures for testing and case isolation to pre prevent a resurgence. And here's something to think about. They recommend a different timeline for the elderly population, moving more gradually toward smaller gatherings, less travel, and more mask wearing in public for the foreseeable future. Christina Hager, WBZ News.